welcome to Jen's Daily Dish. Today we're going to be making cinnamon apple flatbread. Yes, it's exactly what you're thinking. It's like a roasted apple cinnamon mapley pizza. Oh yes, because I'd like to eat cinnamon apple flatbread with maple syrup and cider it will be beloved and you'll be well fed first thing that we're going to do is make the dough then we're going to make the filling with those delicious apples and last we're going to make the yummy topping if you don't have a sourdough starter, no worries. Add half a cup all-purpose flour and half a cup water. That's it. For those of you that do have a sourdough starter, lucky you. This is another great way to use your unfed discard. One cup sourdough starter fed or discard. Three quarters cup lukewarm water. Two teaspoons yeast. Three cups all-purpose flour. One and a half teaspoons salt. Two tablespoons non-fat dry milk. Three tablespoons olive oil. Combine until it makes a nice soft dough. The dough is a little sticky, um, but I'm going to go with it as is. I don't think it needs any additional flour. It is very soft and smooth, and I'm going to put it in a lightly greased bowl and cover it for one hour. And then let's make the filling. If you've liked what you've seen so far, don't forget to click the like button, that thumbs up, and subscribe. It really helps me out. I appreciate it. For the filling, you want four large firm apples. I only had Fuji apples on hand, which from what I've read are not the firmest of apples. It may make for a softer apple on top of this flatbread, but it's still going to be delicious. If you have one of those apple cores which slices it right away into eight pieces, good for you. I did not, so what I did is I chopped each apple into eight pieces, and I cut each of those pieces into three. In short, it made slices which are about this size, which will be fantastic. We're gonna go ahead and add a quarter cup of maple syrup. Quarter cup maple syrup. Quarter cup boiled cider. I couldn't find boiled cider at the supermarket. My guess is it's a very thick syrup of cider. You can use honey instead or agave syrup. I opted to try to boil my own cider. We'll see how that turns out. Put in the microwave for eight minutes and check them. You want them to still hold their shape, but be soft. make sure to save the juice. Let the apples cool while the dough rises. Deflate the dough and let it rise for another hour. It should be doubled in bulk. This rose a lot, fantastic. You have a choice now. Do you want two separate pizza flatbreads or do you want one? 
I'm separating mine into two. So I'm using two different nine by 13 pans, which I've sprayed with oil and then drizzled some olive oil. The spray will make sure that it doesn't stick. The olive oil will make sure that the bottom crust is nice and crispy. You can also use a baking sheet and just use half of it. So it, it's 18 by 13. Lightly flour your surface if you're turning it out onto your counter so that it doesn't stick. Let's divide this in half. Shape each half into a rough rectangle before you put it in your pan. Cover and let it rest for 10 to 15 minutes and then we'll stretch it out again. It's been 10 to 15 minutes, let's see. Let's stretch it out just a little bit more. Arrange the apple chunks among both of the doughs. reserved liquid you had from the apples. Use a quarter cup of that, mix that with a quarter cup of cinnamon sugar and drizzle it on top. Cover and let rise for another hour. Halfway through the rise cycle, preheat your oven to 425 degrees. They got puffy. Now, my favorite part, let's put them in the oven. Let's add some sparkling sugar to one of them because it makes everything better, just like in the strawberry hand pies. Bake for 25 to 30 minutes until the edges are golden brown and the middle seems like it is set. Is up. Let's check them. Oh boy. Let's check to make sure that the center is set. It feels like it. Out they come. Oh boy. Wow. Whoa. They look delicious. Now let's take it out and put it on the rack and then we're going to cut it and we're going to eat it. Yes. Oh, wow. Look at that. Ah, hear that cut? That's what you want. Oh my goodness. Look at that. My, oh my, it sort of tastes like those cinnamon sugar pretzels you get because of the sugar and the cinnamon and the dough, but the apples come through, so it's like an apple pie pretzel tasting cinnamon sugar, delicious piece of heaven. This is so utterly delicious. Mmm. If I can do this, you can too. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out my other videos.